come speak to me after getting some glasses. Preferably green like my own. Now leave. <laughs>
It was supposed to be mana. All right, so where are we supposed to go? What the hell? How do I get here? I have to, I have to go to the Royal Avenue and down? What the hell is this? I don't remember this. All right, y'all, I think I figured it out. We got to go to Hea Hea City and go to the right from there. Is the Stoutland lady still here? What the hell do you want? Freaking businessman, go to work. My dudes, it's right here. Let's go. I don't even remember this game. Hello, ladies. Hano Grand Resort. I'm just going to jump straight to it. I want to see all this dialogue, y'all. Look, I'm just going to go to it. Let's just go to the check mark. Who's in here? Who is in here? Hello, Lily. It's freaking Faba. Oh my goodness, Faba. What does he have to say? You're finally here. Do you know how long you've kept Faba waiting? Too long. My hair has started to grow. Soon I'll have to visit one of those lowly salons for myself. Marud's already getting into it. And sure, it is trimmed to perfection again. Can you shut it, man? Marud thinks he's got some Ampharos hair. You're bald, man. You're bald. All he's got going for himself is that goatee. In fact, what the hell is this? It's like artificial Mewtwo crap. Faba, we gonna go to one of those barbers and make a meme out of you. F me up, barber. Give me the Mewtwo look. Barber, I wanted to play golf anytime. Okay, let's get serious. Allow me to introduce myself. Your new boss. My name is Faba. Fabulous Faba. Hold up, I remember now. This guy wants us to join the Aether Foundation. Do not take it lightly. Do you know of Aether Paradise? There are four islands here in the Alola region. That is the fifth island made entirely by human technology for the protection of Pokemon. It is a, it is the VL, v, what the hell? It is the very large floating structure that Aether had been working on for years. You'd be surprised to learn it floats entirely on water despite the mass it carries. It has become very popular in Alola. I am the chief of staff of Aether Paradise. Nice. Which means there is no higher person than me in Aether. Mudu, that's a lie. What do you mean there ain't no higher per- There's no higher person. That is why. You must pronounce me as Faba the Fabulous. Okay. And nothing less. Understand? Good. Before you officially come on board as one of my Aether employees, tell me, am I fabulous? <laughs> I was gonna say earlier, did I say he is? Marud, what do I do in this situation? What if I say no? No. Insolent fool. All the more reason you are not fit. Come speak to me after getting some glasses. Preferably green like my own. Now leave. <laughs> is that serious? Nah, let me join. Allow me to introduce myself. Your new boss. You're, my name is Faba. Fabulous Faba. That is why. You must pronounce me as Faba the Fabulous and nothing less. Understand? Good. So I understand and then you're gonna ask me again. Tell me, am I fabulous? Yes. Very good. You are a strong trainer indeed. <laughs> now, listen closely. Faba doesn't repeat himself. You will work directly under me in the Elite Battle Ops. It is the highest of our divisions. It contains only a few members. Now, as you can see, the gentleman in blue behind me cannot help but stare at Faba the Fabulous. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I was gonna say, now, let me ask you one more time, am I fabulous? What do gentlemen Stanley be looking at him back there? So, before people spot us, let us take off. We are attracting far too much attention here. Follow me. Hell yeah! Olivia, you're totally right. There is a weird alien guy here. Oh, <gasps> Kukui's here too? Marud, he's already ready to roast Faba. I wonder if it's from that sacred island you told me about. Let me ask its name. <laughs> you insolent fool, I am not an alien. I am Faba. I don't know about that. Your eyes are like a bug's and your hair doesn't recline like a human. Your name also sounds like a bean. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Go walk up to your friend and say, my dude Chester, your name sounds like a bean. Then again, that's probably what's attractive around here. I wouldn't know. I'm not married. Listen up, fatuous Faba! <laughs> How here just notified me of an idiot that's been lurking on my island? Kukui! <laughs> He's not allowed here. Now that I've caught him with my hands, when you all leave, I'm going to smash him. Till there's absolutely nothing left in him. Hear that, Kukui? She's gonna smash you! <laughs> do you have a plan? Sure do, bestie! I'm gonna make a run for it. 
She'll never see it coming. Just please send help as soon as you can if I don't make it out. Nanu, I heard he's an officer. Call Nanu and he'll save me. Well, you are going to meet Nanu soon. Though, I don't know where he is. I just hope he's not on Ula Ula. Normal people can't visit it. That island's restricted. Nanu, huh? Sounds familiar. I'll keep watch for that name. Maru took a piss and got Nanu called on me. I'll keep watch for that name. But for now... Okay, children, why am I part of this? I don't care for your conversation. Me and my personal Aether employee are about to take off back to paradise. A paradise it truly is. Especially compared to being with you fools here. Goodbye, you idiots keep arguing here. Let's go. Maru just told everyone I'm joining Aether? I wanted that to be secret. Freaking Hao is here. Why the hell is Hao here? You insolent fool. How many times did he call me that on the way here? I just wanted to tag along. See what's up. Man, I can't believe you're really joining the Aether Foundation. He really told everyone. You even get your own speedboat and everything. If only I could come. Maybe I can impress Fatuous Faba with some trivia I heard from Gramps. Damo. How should I sneak on? <laughs> of course. Of course, he doesn't even ask, should I? How should I do it? S swim there. Nah, stay back, kid. We're, both of them are rude. Swim there. Oh, if only you knew. I have something way better than this speedboat if I wanted to swim there. I just don't know where this place is. Heh. I'm sneaking on. Look at those salty eyes. Now he's just trying to get on my nerves. He's like, F you, I'm going in. Whoa, look at this. It's huge in there. Faba just sat down. Is he gonna drive this thing? I thought someone important like him had a helmsman. Maybe he is just a helmsman. Hold on. What is he? Is he combing his hair? We get an update? Okay. Here's the plan. I'll hide in those boxes there. You go inside and sit beside him so he doesn't see me. Smell you later or on the way. Look at my salty face. My dudes are using me. It's supposed to be my speedboat and y'all are here. Look at this. This is awesome, y'all. Y'all remember when you first came here in Sun and Moon? Ate their paradise, y'all. It's going down. It's like, you just know they shady. It's so obvious. Bob up. <laughs> what is he gonna say about <laughs> you? You insolent fool! No, idiot! You insolent idiot! <laughs> Don't you see this is a busy place? <laughs> oh God, on! How's here? What you dancing your ass off? Go off! Leave. The construction worker. Who? <laughs> How so surprised about? Okay, look, you two. You're not supposed to be here. Not even on normal terms. Joining Gator Foundation is off limits for normal people. You have to go through an extreme screening process. It's top secret. The only reason Thamel is joining is to work under our classified battle ops directly under me. Understand? Don't go running around like idiots. Insolent idiots. Don't touch anything. Don't go into the labs. Don't go into the basement. Don't talk to anyone strange. Which is everyone! <laughs> I'm gonna find the grunt er employee responsible for IDs and get you your stamo. Remember, if anyone talks to you, you wish to remain silent under Chief Faba's request. I own this place. Everyone bows to my word. But seriously, don't visit the basement. You'll anger our experiment corpse and their synthetic life project. Type null. I mean, huh. You'll learn more about that later. And you, how? since you've come here with me, I will be forced to pretend you're with me. Listen to me loud and clear, child. Do not touch anything. I can't let you two loose here. Uh, just follow me for now. My dude, Hal's gotten the biggest and you're gonna walk in front of me. That's actually hilarious. Oh my goodness, wake. 
Oh, Faba, what brings you here? Oh, who are these two handsomes with you? <laughs> How dare you! I'm not Faba, I'm Faba the Fabulous. I'm the head of Aether Paradise here. I am not to be taken lightly. But of course, I apologize, Faba the Fabulous. That's it. Miss, take these kids. They're new members for the Aether Foundation. The battle ops, directly under me. We'll be able to assign them to lead each of our excavation groups. So, take them in. Hang on to them until I return with their new and elite Faba class IDs. <gasps> Madu, this is pretty sick! What's the battle ops? That sounds it sounds like freaking Call of Duty. But battle ops, I guess we battle. Oh, Faba. He probably should have stayed for a second longer. Wake. Oh, when you look at me like that, it makes me nervous. Welcome to the Aether Foundation, future employees. The music got so peaceful. Oh my goodness. The president would be delighted that you support Aether's cause. What's the deal with the president? My name is Wick, but whenever trainers visit this place, they like to call me something else. I if you don't mind. I kind of don't mind it. So you can call me THICK! <gasps> Whoa! I, I feel a little disrespectful calling you thick. Hey, 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 miss. Miss Thick! Oh, how long has that been there for? Hey, miss Thick. Madu, that's, that's sly. So you can call me thick. The, if you insist. If you insist. The, thick. Hold on, you can read my. How? N never mind that. That caught me off guard. Hold on a sec. You mentioned the president. Isn't Faba the president of Aether? He said he was the highest person here. He already is delighted with us. Highest? <laughs> oh dear. He said that, did he? Yes, he's not wrong. Faba is the highest person on Aether Paradise. What the crap? You see... Aether Foundation is a giant organization that protects Pokemon across different regions. Its main home is in a different region, but the one in charge of this branch is Faba. So the highest person here is Faba. It'll take him a while to prepare things. So why don't I give you a tour of your new headquarters? I have something interesting to tell you too. One moment. Elevator to B1F. My dude. What's she got to tell us? I'm interested. Hold on tight, little boys. Come as close as you want to Miss Thick. Can you not? Oh my god. Thick. Why, Wick? The music. It's like, how do you... Here we are. This is the main floor. This is the normal entrance booked for visitors of Aether Paradise. People check in at the reception there and can spend up to a full hour here. It's a private location, so it's quite expensive. Though, perhaps not as private as that sacred island. Ula Ula. But I hear that island is totally off limits. Apparently, anyone attempting to enter is kicked out. I've always been in the paradise, so I've never gone there. Alolans don't talk about it much outside of those living in it. I wonder what the cause might be. Maybe the people living there might know. What the crap is that about? But anyhow... In Aether Paradise, so long as your record is clean, you can buy a pass and enjoy a visit here. If you have a rare Pokemon, you can also apply for a discounted price and bring it along. Like hell. You're gonna rob me. So, you two. Faba said- you see the way she looked at us? Faba said you'd be joining the battle ops, huh? That's quite impressive. It'd be nice to battle you and see. But I'm not a trainer myself. Hmm. Is that... I think I hear Faba. <laughs> oh dear. The employee he's looking for is on the top floor. He's never going to look for her there. Shouldn't we help him? I don't like Faba. <laughs> uh, I don't like Faba. I kind of like that we're not helping him. I mean, I want to explore this place more. Hey, Wick. I mean, Miss Thick. I know Faba is great and all, but I'm curious. Why does he have this battle ops? The highest in Aether must be really powerful. Shouldn't his power be enough? Oh, 
Faba. Well, there's two reasons. One, Faba can't be there for every mission. He's been trying that recently and it hasn't been going too well. He's been getting too stressed. His hair is already turning gray. And two, Faba can't fight. <laughs> Simple as that. Just three words. Faba can't fight. Let's not wait any longer. Faba can't call the elevator so long as we're standing on it. Let's head up to the final floor. Look at that mansion in the back. Hang on to Miss Thick tight. Thick. Watch, after this, I'm not gonna be used to Wick. Look at this place. Look at it. Do I see? Attention, Aether Paradise visitors. The hour will end in 15 minutes. Please begin wrapping up. You'll be charged an extra 50% for each minute over. What, do they really stay for just an hour? Thank you. Rotom, d did you hear that? But look, there are a ton of Pokemon here. I sense happiness in all of them. But there's also this constant jamming signal. Ah, I keep hearing it. Please turn me off. I need rest. Bzz Madu took a nap. Wick! <laughs> I mean, Mystic! This is amazing! And you said this was just a branch? No way! Now I really want to join. I want to stay here all day. I just realized how is joining Aether as well. Now, now, how? I work as Faba's assistant, and if it's true you're assigned to the battle ops, that means you'll be outside of Paradise mostly. You'll be dispatched in a squad with a research member, logging member, and a communication member, along with a few employees. As the battle ops combatant, you are the authority leading them. You'll be able to lead excavations into all sorts of places and return with Pokemon safe from danger. That's nice. Like Corsola. I can't miss Dick! In Alola, Toxpex brutally feeds on them. They tread on the ocean floor and crunch Corsola into rock bits. They don't even intend to properly eat them. They take them for granted with how easy they are to prey upon. Goddamn! Hmm, nature really can be cruel, huh? My gramp says it all the time. Though it can give us blessings, it can also act wicked if you're not careful. He compares it to Tapu Koko, actually. Though, I don't really get the joke. I always thought Tapu Koko was peaceful. Anyhow, Mystic, <laughs> I'm more interested about something else. You said Aether has multiple branches, right? And Alola is not the main branch? Can you tell us more? Where did Aether come from? Hell yeah! Goodness, I did not expect all of that to come out of you at once. No, no, no. Cause someone just screen capped that. What is with this wick with their eyes closed? It says Mystic and then she gonna say this. But about the branch. Yes, it's true. Aether's true home is not in Alola. Its main base is set up in another region. Alola is one of the more popular branches, however. Really? Whoa. So like, where is it? <laughs> where does Aether originate from then? Well, that's for another day, how? Though, there is a branch set up near the Kanto region. You may have heard stories of us around there. After a warehouse was liberated from the control of an evil organization, Aether built their base there. Can't believe how fast time has flown. It's already been years since. Where the hell is that? Have you ever heard of the Sevi Islands? They're remote islands connected to Kanto. Aether has built their base there. Thankfully, Pokemon like Toxapex don't thrive in such a region. But Pokemon there have their own fair share of danger. Sometimes it's even worse than here in Alola. Poor Cantonians. That's so sick. There's an Aether base in the Sevi Islands. Is that where the warehouse was? Anyhow. Who? You gave me a mouthful, how? No. Can you stop, Mystic? Speaking of branches, this might come to a surprise for you. Faba really should have heard this. As we have various Aether Foundation headquarters constructed around the entire world, there's one person above all of Aether. She's always out in a different region, taking care of bigger things. But, the president, above all her worldwide branches, Madame Lusamine, suddenly returned. That is badass! That's actually really cool! 
You interested in the president? She should be somewhere in here, right? That's so cool to say she doesn't even visit this place and she's here today. That actually makes it a lot more like interesting to go and visit her. She's up there, right? Sudowoodo is a Pokemon that pretends to be a tree in order to protect itself. But wouldn't it be better to disguise itself as the kind of tree you actually see here in Alola? Our research shows Sudowoodo is undergoing slight behavioral changes here in Alola though. Give it a couple hundred years and we might discover an Alolan Sudowoodo. What the crap? Wood? Rotom says it has big wood. No! I should not be talking to everyone here. It was so sudden. She had been dealing with something peculiar in another region. I wonder what piqued her interest suddenly. It's quite an unfortunate time for Faba's ego, but it's so great to have her here. To be honest, why don't you two try meeting her? You don't always get this chance. Actually, you never get this chance. That's so cool, dude. There's like so much more epicness in meeting her now. Oh my goodness, you two. The PC boxes were first developed by a guy in the Kanto region called Bill. Apparently, he's a real Pokemon maniac. Ever heard of fossil Pokemon? I heard people spotted a giant living Kabuto when visiting his lab. Just what does he do? Modu, that was Bill. Imagine using the same Pokemon in your boxes in battle again after hundreds of years. It's like some kind of time machine, isn't it? But how do the Pokemon feel? Time traveling years between each battle. Man, I want to be a Pokemon. <laughs> what the hell, dude? You're telling me all the Pokemon in the first extreme randomizer, they just been napping for like a, a freaking two days? Look at that Corsola. If you really feel happy here in this zoo? Starmie is known as the mysterious Pokemon. If it's really a star from the night sky appearing to us in a different form, then it's like a Pokemon is just using us humans and making us take care of it. Do you ever imagine things like that? I do. It's already proven that the energy from different stars can lurk on our planet. I bet you there's even stronger Pokemon that fell from the stars. Wow! Girl, if only you knew. When Pokemon evolve, their appearance can change quite a lot. Some Pokemon can also change forms, which can change how they look and their stats. And then there's the regional variants, which are quite another thing altogether. Pokemon don't just change into regional variants like they might change forms. Trust me, we've tried! Oh, what the hell, freaking robot man? My dude! What the hell did you inject them with, man? You can't be doing that. Lady, do I even want to hear what you have to say? I like this, actually. These people, seeing how much they pay to be here. It almost makes me feel like a VIP being here for free. Better, I'm paid to be here. Uh, I mean, hello there, visitor. Hope you enjoy your stay. Or, the hour is up. You should be on your way. <laughs> what is that, a Team Skullgrunt? Manu, yo, don't be mocking me. That's how it is. Imagine working for E3, and then you're being there for free. Speaking of which, they're gonna be- I mean, it's not confirmed, but could you imagine if the new Pokemon games announced at E3? I wanna put a bet and say that it will be announced at E3, but I don't wanna get too ahead of myself. What would it even be called? That should be the freaking question for this episode. What would the next games be called? Freaking Pokemon Sword and Shield. Galaxy and another galaxy. Just imagine a new Pokemon logo. <gasps> We're here! Alright guys, I'm getting in this part here. Be sure to smack the like button if you guys enjoyed it. My dudes, I recorded for a long ass time in this chair. Things are getting so intense. In the next episode, you guys are going to see what's up with this place. And we're essentially going to fight another totem boss. Already. And then things get even more crazier after that. But I'm going to leave it to the episodes. Be sure to smack the like button if you guys are hyped. Let's see how this video does. If it does well... I'll keep the videos coming. Like I said, I played for a while, so I'm a bit further into the game now. But, I mean, I haven't edited any of it. But things are getting intense, guys. I can't wait for you guys to see this all. But, as always, my dudes, I'll see you guys in the next part. Peace.